So being, you're not manifesting money, but you want to reset your money mindset to prosperity? Well, let me ask you this one question. Are you ready to commit to yourself, to start consciously choosing to approach things differently, to start changing your beliefs from something that's fear-based and not serving you to ones that are love-based, expansion-based, truth-based? Because if you're not ready to commit to yourself, then quite frankly and honestly, I can't help you and I'm not gonna waste your time trying. So you can click out of this video right now if you are not ready to commit to yourself. But if you are ready to commit to yourself, then make sure that you subscribe down below because I am gonna help you out with so much more than just resetting your money mindset to prosperity. Like that's what this channel is all about is opening your awareness, expanding your consciousness, creating a life that you actually love living and to actually start like living because you know a lot of us just don't okay anyway going on a tangent so if you are ready to commit to yourself like this video to let me know that you are ready subscribe so that you get more videos like this in your feed and let's freaking reset our money mindset to prosperity right Meow. So in resetting our money mindset, what does that actually mean, right? So we want to shift our relationship with money because that's what the problem is, is our relationship with money. It's not money itself or us ourselves, right? It's our beliefs behind money. So go into yourself and ask, what have I been told about money? What have I learned about money? What have I been taught about money from, from your family, from when you were young, from school, from things you've heard on the news, from everyday sayings like money doesn't grow on trees when you know what? Paper is made from trees. So, but look at your past and write down the things that you have been told or taught about money. We're gonna, you're gonna go back through and list reasons why those aren't true, okay? Because the universe will always provide you exactly what you need when you need it. And remember that you will always be supported in heart-led choices. Then you wanna ask yourself, do I feel worthy? Because that comes down to it at the end of the day sometimes is how worthy we feel, just in general, whether it's worthy of having $100 in our bank account, whether it's where we think we're, we're worthy of having a good paying job, a job that we enjoy, uh, just doing something that brings us happiness, that we're passionate about. Sometimes we just don't think that we're worthy of living a life of comfort, of not worrying, of st no stress, having no stress. Sometimes we just think that all we're worth is is having a hard time. That's why we always have a bad day is because that's all we're worth. No, no. You are worth literally the world, okay? You are worthy of having everything that you actually truly desire. And I say actually truly desire because yeah, sure, a lot of us wanna live in a mansion and have five cars and this, this, and this, but at the end of the day, do you really want that? Because I remember looking back into my past, I remember wanting to live in a big giant house. I remember not too long ago, I wanted to have a Lamborghini. I literally collected Lamborghini Hot Wheels and things like that, which I definitely still don't fucking have because it's a beautiful car, okay? I wanted a Lamborghini for a long time until I realized, you know what? I really don't want this $325,000 car. It's just a beautiful thing. I just wanna look at it. Am I gonna be able to drive it fast? Not really. Do I want a big house? Sure, but really, I just want a big enough house to fit all my crap, right? I just want a big enough house that has enough room for me to freaking be, for me to freaking breathe, for me to do the activities that I want to do, right? I don't need to live in a mansion. I don't need to live in an eight bedroom house. That's unnecessary. So you want to think about what are the things that you actually want compared to what are the things that just your ego wants. Knowing that you are worthy is a key, key part to your relationship with money. Knowing that actually money is ever abundant just like you are is a big thing. Now take a look at your perception of others and money. How do you feel when you see somebody else 
with the really nice handbag that you want or wearing a really nice outfit or able to just go shopping whenever, wherever, whatever. How do you feel when you see somebody that you think has a lot of money walks by you? How does that make you feel? Do you feel jealous? Do you feel envious? Or do you feel hopeful, grateful, um, expansive? Because you know that money is actually just as abundant as you are. There is enough to go around, even though we've been told that there is not. Remember that money is not the end all be all of life. Just because you don't have physical money, bills, currency in your hand, or the numbers in the bank account does not mean that you were not gonna have what you need. Because like I said, the universe always provides what we need when we need it. Somebody might give you a bottle of water when you need some water. Somebody might pay for that, you know, extra 15 cents that you don't have for your grocery bill. When you need something, it will be provided when you are making heart-led choices. Because another question that you wanna ask yourself is what is the energy that you are emitting, right? What is the energy that you're bringing to the table that you are sending out in communication to the universe of what your beliefs are, what you think, how you feel, how you are, because the frequency that you are emitting, what you are vibrating is in turn what you are being and what is going to come right back at you. Are you acting like you can't afford anything ever or are you asking yourself how you can purchase something? How you can save up for what it is you want to invest in? How you can invest in something instead of just, you know, buying something or going into debt over something, right? What is it that you are investing in? How can I invest? Where do I have to pull from to invest? Because invest is a good keyword to use instead of I'm going into debt and because of this. No, I'm consciously choosing to spend my money on this to invest in myself, my happiness, my mental health, whatever it is. And at the end of the day, if you are finding your passions, if you're doing your passions, if you're doing the things that brings you joy in life, that money abundance is going to be a byproduct because you are emitting the frequency of joy, of love, of positivity, of happiness, of abundance. And so in turn, that's gonna be reflected in your outer reality because it is what you are feeling in your inner zone, in your inner being, in your inner reality, okay? So all of these questions that you've asked yourself, go back into the reasons of the or the, the things that you've been told or taught about money the way that you feel about money how you feel unworthy why you feel unworthy or um, looking back on your perceptions of others i want you to write down reasons of why those aren't true of why money does grow on trees right or why money is actually everywhere around you find other reasonings for those beliefs, right? What else could those uh, experiences be meaning? Or you could also go back and look at your past experiences to find different meanings that have nothing to do with money and therefore just erasing that belief altogether. Because everything's about the meaning that we choose to give things, right? So if we give something a new meaning, that erases that old belief. And above all, just remember that you are supported and guided through all of your heart-led choices and are always provided for with what you need when you are living through your heart and living your truth and contributing to society, helping other beings on earth. I mean, what better way to spread happiness than helping others? If there's ever something that you want me to go more in depth, then always comment that down below, as well as let me know today what your biggest takeaway from today's video was. And while you're down there, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful for you, and make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this in your feeds. Until next time, thank you so, so much for being here. I love you with all my heart. See you next time, beings.